Okay guys and girls, this is a video about the Fast Easy EFI 1.0 installation on a tuned port injection motor. I just finally got it to start idling, um, start learning, and I'm working on a couple more bugs before I can learn it on the road, which is the next step. Uh, just basically start stalling, and I think it has something to do with ignition. But where I hooked up a few of the things under the hood, weren't immediately apparent so I'm gonna help some people out I think minus the um, fuel pump controller I'm not using that harness I'm using the factory and I split off a couple factory connections just to share the signals with um, the factory ECM so I can control the torque converter lockup and that's gonna be the throttle position sensor two exits and idle air control valve. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, this is the idle air control valve. Um, once I hook that other one up to GM, that'll be for highway cruising. And I do have to split off what's underneath the intake here. This is a, a MAF car, so I had to change it to MAP or add a MAP for it. But underneath here is a coolant temperature sensor and that needs to be also given uh, back to the ECM for torque converter. I'm still going to get a check engine light, but uh, I do get the factory tachometer working by taking this coil. This is my Excel coil. Remote coil, HEI. It has the clip style on top. And I took a lead off of the white wire in that, the blue wire coming out comes out to my RPM module from uh, the Fast Kit, Fast Easy EFI, and that's working. The, the handheld gets the signal, my car gets the signal on the dashboard, um, all the injectors only need to be from Fast, I don't need to split anything there. The map sensor, it's just a regular one bar map, GM style, runs off a of vacuum. Right now I took out the heater and air conditioning unit vacuum port right there and plugged in my little map tube, vacuum tube, and then keeping this wire away from any ignition module stuff is why it's hanging out here. It's eventually going to go back here, but uh, it's working right there so there's no interference. You gotta run the power directly to the battery terminals. Right now I just got a charger hooked up because I keep on running it. And then a 12 volt accessory line, fusible, would be best to uh, turn key and turn on this ECM. Um, this harness wiring and loom will actually go somewhere down there once I get some factory stuff out of the way, like the smog kit, and voila. Uh, the rest is kind of tuning on the Easy EFI handheld. Once that starts up, run through the parameters. I gotta tell you, it started the first time. Uh, it ran like dog doo doo, but then when I moved that RPM module away um, from any interference on the ignition system, it started up the next time perfectly smooth. Could have just been a little learning that happened too, but then I let it run for. 25 minutes, hit 219 degrees on the handheld, and stalled out. So I got a couple of the little things on this engine to do. It's a nice 87 IROC, no body panel rot, and um, I did the subframe connectors. I need a ton of paint work done because it was sitting under a tarp in someone's yard. And Oh, yeah, what a mess. It's going to be much nicer. I rewrapped the steering wheel, which is like my favorite. Got my coon tail. And yeah, sound system. Everything else will go on after I get the hood on and painted. More to come.